guys, it's Jessie V. So right now I am wearing a crazy colorful alien sweatshirt because why not? Look at how gorgeous and it's way too big for me, but it's okay. I just really like out there sweaters and this one is so soft too. Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing the August Q&A and there's a bit of a twist to this video today because it's part Q&A and part mini story time. And the reason I'm telling a mini story time today is because I saw a question that was, what was the thing you were most afraid of when you were a child? And this tiny story time came to my brain and I was like, I have to tell it in the next Q&A. So let's start with the story time because I'm sure you guys are wondering what the heck is going on. So when I was a little girl, probably like, I don't know, like 10 or 11, let's go with 10. I moved into the house that I am in now and the first night that we moved in, I had this really bad nightmare. And the nightmare was actually about this really scary man that broke into our house, went down into the basement and hid behind our furnace. So when I woke up from this dream the next day, I was so scared, I told my parents, I was like, it's a sign, it's a sign, there is a man living in our basement right now. And my parents were like, Jess, like, don't worry, it was just a dream. And I was literally convinced that there was a man down there, and I would not go in my basement. Like, I did not care, like, under no circumstance would I go in my basement. So then, stupid Jesse over here tells my sister about this dream. And my sister was like seven at the time, and that's just not something you tell a seven-year-old, but like there's just no common sense here, you know? So I told my sister, I was like, Mandy, there is a creepy man hiding in our basement. We can't go down there. He will get us. So this one day, I really wanted to do arts and crafts and our art kits were in the basement next to the furnace. So I went to my mom and I was like, mom, can you please go get my art stuff? And she was like, no, honey, you are fully capable of getting it yourself. So then my heart starts beating and I was like, no, there's the man down there. There's a man behind our furnace. I cannot go in the basement. So I guess to try and get me over my fear, my mom just said like, if you want to do arts and crafts, you have to go get your art stuff. So I was like sitting there contemplating for a while. I was like, I have to, I have to go down there. Like I have to be brave and go down there. So that's what I did. I like ran for dear life into the basement as fast as I could because I just wanted to grab my art stuff and leave. Well, while I was down there by the furnace, I guess my dad didn't know that I had gone down so he turns off the basement lights just casually thinking that maybe someone left them on so guys I was down there by the furnace the minute I got to the furnace the lights turned off and oh my gosh I have never screamed so loud in my entire life I was just terrified and yeah after that experience I didn't go down there for years like I was just scared of the basement for years and it's funny because I actually film my YouTube videos down here so right now I'm in my basement that I used to be scared of I'm actually staring at the furnace right now. But yeah, until I got older, I was scared of it. And when I reached like, I don't know, 12 or 13, I was like, okay, Jess, let's be logical. It was a dream. There's no creepy man hiding in my basement. But like for real guys, for the longest time, I was convinced. Like I was so convinced. But anyways, I know that's like the weirdest story ever, but I thought I would tell it because the question just reminded me of it. So without further ado, let's get into the other questions. Out of all your experiences, which one do you feel was the worst. Okay, so this question is kind of hard to talk about because my very worst experience, like my most intense story time I could ever tell you, I'm too afraid to. Like I just don't know if I could tell it publicly online. I don't know if I can talk about it. So what I was thinking of doing was writing a book about the worst thing that's ever happened to me and that way I'm able to write it out in words and I'm not verbally saying it. So if you guys would be interested in me writing a book, I might do it this year. Like, I might do it. And I'm scared to tell this story. I'm really scared. But I think, I think I should. So if you want to read this story in book format, let me know. Have you ever walked in on someone using the bathroom? Your vids and you are also really funny. Have a great day, Jesse. Aw, thanks. Have a great day too. Um, yes, many times I have walked in on people peeing and it was very interesting. There's this one time that I can think of where I went to the movie theaters. I was probably like 15 and I really really needed to pee after the movie because, you know, after you have all those, like, pops and stuff, your bladder is, like, full. It's just 
just full to the max. Like if someone tickled you, you'd just pee it all out. You know what I mean? That's how full my bladder was. So I was just rushing to the washroom. So the first stall that I saw, I pushed on and it just swung right open and this old lady was peeing and like she shut it so hard that it hit me in the face and it was just, it was a terrible experience. Ever seen a ghost in a picture of you? Luckily, I have not seen a ghost in a picture of me. I should actually go through my old photo albums just to see, just to make sure. But actually, my grandma found a photo of her with a ghost in it and she will not let me show it on YouTube because she's a very religious person and she thinks it's not a very good idea to expose spirits and demons and stuff online. So I respect her wishes, but oh my gosh, this photo of her, like, it is the scariest thing. So maybe in the future, if she lets me, hopefully, show you guys this photo, I definitely will make a story time on it. If you could get another dog, what breed? This is actually so funny that you asked this because I'm actually getting a new dog very soon. It's gonna be a French Bulldog. I am in the process of getting one, so as soon as I do, I'll definitely make a video with it. I'm so excited. Why did you change your hair color to black? Honestly, I don't know. It was kind of just the spur of the moment. I personally don't think that I suit blonde hair because my hair is naturally blonde. I just think I suit darker hair, so that's what I did, and I kind of stuck with it. Who ate your favorite bands? Who ate them? Gosh, I really hope no one ate my favorite bands because I would be really upset about that. Updates on your missing BFF. Actually, yes. So you guys know my best friend Matt. He's been on this channel before. He was actually really good friends with her as well. And the other day I was talking to him and I was like, Matt, like I literally don't know what happened to her. Do you know anything? And apparently the day that she went missing, if you will, the day that she left, she ran crying to his house and was talking about how her dad got a job somewhere far away and she had to go, but she wasn't giving a lot of detail about why. But apparently her family family just had to pack up and move and they followed her dad because he got a job somewhere. So at least that's more information. She moved because her dad got another job, but why he had to get another job, I still don't know. This whole thing is still a big mystery. What's your favorite Pokemon? I don't know. Like, I really like Eevees. I like Ponita. I love Seal. I love Seal. And everybody thinks like, why the heck does she love Seal? He's not even that cool. He looks so dumb, but I like Seal. Ow, I just bit my tongue. That really hurt. I bit my tongue. Are you going to do a giveaway soon? I actually just posted a giveaway. It's so awesome. Like, I put tons of Harry Potter stuff in this giveaway. I even put Harry Potter and Voldemort's wand. Their wand is in this giveaway. So if you guys want to see it, check out that video for sure. It's called, like, Huge August Giveaway. I just posted it. Strangest fan experience. I really don't like to call you guys fans. You guys are my family. You're my V-team. So let's say the strangest V-team experience. Okay, so I love you guys all to death. Like, I love you so much. Like, if you ever see me on the street or somewhere, please come say hi. I will give you a huge hug. Like, I'm not difficult to talk to at all. But I guess what was strange, if you will, is I saw these two girls, um, I think a week ago, and it was just the way they spoke to me. Like, this is what they said. Jesse V, we've been following you for the last hour. Like, we saw you park your car at your house, and we followed you all the way here. Because, I don't know, I think I walked to, like, the park or something, and it was just the way they said that they were following me the whole time just kind of freaked me out a bit. I was like, but why were you following me? Like, why couldn't you just come say hi? I don't know. That was the only weird thing, but I still love them. But yeah, that is all of the questions I'm going to answer today. And before I go, before I go, I have something really cool to show you guys. You guys know that I do surprise packs where I put together all of these random awesome items and send it to you guys. You don't know what you're going to get. Well, I'm doing back to school surprise packs. So I'm putting all of these awesome back to school stuff into a pack package for you, gonna ship it to you, and you won't know what you're gonna get, but you do know that it's like a back to school theme. So let me show you some examples of what you could get in this back to school surprise pack. So these are really cool, they're called locker candies, and they just stick right on your locker and you put your picture of your friends in them, and I just think they're so cute. I've got some really cute emoji keychains, oh my gosh, look at this. It lights up, can you see that? They light up. I got these mini pencil cases that are literally emojis, so we got this one one, this one, this one. They're so cute. And yes, they're mini, so they're for like erasers and tiny highlighters or sharpeners or stuff like that. We got rulers, 
highlighters, crazy pencils, giant paper clips, which are really interesting, pencil cases with a giant zipper down the middle. I look at that, and it's an owl. That is so cool. And super crazy socks, which like I kind of want to keep them. Like they're really cool. And then with every back to school surprise pack that you purchase, you will get a clothing item. So this one is a plaid shirt, which I love the colors. But yeah, that's what you get with each pack. So if you guys are interested, I will link them down below. And as usual, my social media information is also down below along with my vlog channel and my peel box information. So check that out. And until next time, guys, bye.